All right, so here we are, off on a ride in the 2019 Toyota RAV4, limited edition, and we've had a chance to look through the vehicle and uh, all over, up, Next down, right. in, out. Next right, you got navigation on? Oh, I, I programmed it to, to McDonald's. <laughs> I was hungry. This video is not sponsored by McDonald's. No. Well, quit, you're the quit, techie. Quit the route. You're the techie guy. I can't guy. look I'm at it while sure. I'm driving, though. Oh, yeah. No, it's on. It's got to be on the screen somewhere. Make a legal U turn ahead. Well, we'll at least mute it. How about that? This is why I let Nathan do all the tech because <laughs> I watched the videos afterwards. Um, so I can learn how to do everything. And that's a good point, by the way. Um, you know, our, a lot of people do these videos and you know, we're just another group and you're saying, oh, big deal, why? What's the big deal? Why should I watch your videos? Well, if you think about it, uh, we're not only on the, uh, just curious uh, folks, just to see what new technologies out there, but people who are actually looking to purchase this vehicle, uh, we think we do a good review to give you insight as to uh, what you would be getting and, and you know, information that you probably wouldn't get from the dealer in, in you know in a, in a short amount of time but the other part is after the sale a lot of these cars have so much technology in them that it is really hard to remember everything and no one Man. opens up and reads those owners manuals and they've gotten to be such thick volumes nowadays so with, especially on the inside with all the technology I think Nathan, you giving us the insight and walking people through step by step of all the different functions is a great learning tool after someone purchases the vehicle. Also, yeah, I thought these are uh, this is this is not your grandfather's vehicle. Um, well, I hope so. It's not a thirty-two Ford. So. <laughs> well, you know what? One of the things we talk about the technology on the inside is to note is that. Um, if you're moving up from an, uh, obviously from an older vehicle, one of the things like, like there is, for instance, there's no CD player available on the on the Rav4. Oh, um, now there's on other Toyota models, but not on the Rav4. It's all based on streaming, based on uh, Apple Car played through your phone. Um, but as I demonstrated earlier, you can take your music, put it on a USB, plug it in, and still have access to everything. So you can still have all your music. It's just done a slightly different way. No, the steering is nice and, and again tight. Um, it's uh, it's interesting. Now this has got eight gears, I believe. Eight speed, yes. And uh, it's really nice. I mean, we're doing about sixty, not quite sixty-five. We're in a sixty-five zone, and the RPMs are sitting down at just above fifteen hundred. Wow, which is yeah. That's, that's where you're going to get that uh, fuel thirty-five miles to the gallon yes. on the highway. Um, and. Uh, Boy, that that is that's really nice. And you do have that sport shift if you want. I showed you that a little bit earlier. I'm, I'm liking the seat. I've got the I got the heated steering wheel on. That's comfortable. Uh, the heated seat is very pleasant. I turned on my cooling seats just to see what they're like. You've got your heated seats, but I can feel the air. You notice the up. difference in the LED colors? Yeah, exactly. So Toyota's used the same LEDs instead of having two separate sets of LEDs. Uh, they just changed color, which is I love it. And the heating that's, has three settings, the cooling has three settings. So that's pretty that's really neat because My seat has four settings. You you're the fourth? I'm the fourth. Okay. Yep. I was gonna say that's pretty cool, but I didn't uh, yeah, it's cooling seats you get it. Yeah, it wasn't great. Bad joke. Bad uh, so joke. On the uh, on the dashboard, you do get a, a little uh, green economy sign when you're doing a good job. So far, mine showed up like exactly one time. <laughs> but that's me driving. It's flashing danger, 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 danger. danger. <laughs> I do like having that navigation that, that it functions and comes like, sort of. Even though uh, we've muted everything, I still I can see the directions in the screen, which I, I just I like that. It's not having to look over. All right, so this ride's really nice too. It's it, you can feel the bumps, but you can also feel that they're well dampened. You know what I notice on the seats? It's got the side bolsters. I don't know if you can feel them because I'm a little wider than you are. <laughs> Shut up! Don't say anything. 
I'm not sure I'm these a little seats even have side bolsters built in. That might just be Nathan's own oh, private no. side bolsters. No. I, can, I can definitely feel those side <laughs> bolsters. And it's nice. I it feels really, comfortable. I really like everything you touch up here is, is soft touch. Yeah, Only is. right where the uh, window switch and the door lock is is hard touch. But everything else, the uh, even the door handle, is that me or was that you? Or no, that's navigation. Deep. Oh. You're making a correction. I like the the brushed um, uh, brushed aluminum accents as well. Really, yeah. It's nice. You know, I don't know what that is. That's like, I, I mean, it's brushed aluminum. I guess that's probably what you should technically call it. But it looks like a satiny finish. Right, I, right, I, right. It's, it, it's well, very brushed elegant. aluminum does have a satin finish to it. That's why it's yeah, it's brushed aluminum. But it's it is. It's really upscale looking. All the colors and textures they have in here work well together. I like the really large kind of rubber covered um, knobs here for the AC and the auto and the fan and your cooling adjustment. Uh, yeah. Like where we live in a, in a much colder climate, it's really nice if you're wearing gloves inside the car. Yeah. Uh, you just got in and they've got uh, rubber on them so they've got a great tactile feel and it, your your hand wouldn't just slip or slip off of it. It's gonna really make contact and you'll be able to easily adjust up or down the uh, those controls. All right, so here we are, we're just gonna show you a little bit of the uh, well that won't really work because I won't be able to see it all right I was gonna show you the backup but this does have um, I showed you earlier the the, um, the camera no the no. front you know the front sensors oh the front parking sensors. did you talk about does this one have the backup camera as well yes. as the backup mirror so this has, I believe, the backup mirror, but I haven't been able to... It's a switch up here. Okay, so... That's all you have to do. Okay, so, so we... put it in we reverse need, and we, try. So, well, here, hang on a minute. So hang on, folks. I'm going to take my camera out here a minute, and I am going to show you this really cool feature. So it. here's the rear view mirror. And if I take this switch back here, just like the flick switch, it now is a digital rear view mirror meaning it doesn't see my phone, it doesn't see my hand. So if you have people in the back or luggage blocking your, your rear view mirror, you can turn this digital one on and still see out of your back really nicely. So, oh, so that is just a really neat feature to have that as for your mirror. And then you have a bunch of other buttons down here that can uh, change settings and controls up here. All right, so we... Uh, I now have the digital rear view mirror engaged instead of the actual rear view mirror. And I like it. It's, it's very, uh, yeah. We're going to, uh, this has the, the full range dynamic radar cruise control. So basically it'll bring the vehicle to a full stop and stop and go traffic and, and then resume it as well as keep you a set distance on the highway. Happen. Okay, I have got it set. Oh, the lane the lane assist is already working. I had the lane assist sit, and it, it it's turning the wheel. It's it's keeping me right in the middle of the lane. It doesn't like my driving, it's Rob. good to know the car's ah. a, lot, a much better driver than they do. <coughs> it seriously is. I mean, my hands are, are, are I've got them around the steering wheel. And now I see that it's it's showing like a radar sig sonar signal back and forth to the vehicle. Now what happens there? The vehicle just went over to another lane. Does it automatically turn that off? Uh, it has, I don't know. Okay. okay, it's picked up another vehicle. That's, oh, that's interesting. And now it's automatically. And it's keeping your safe distance. Keeping my distance. So uh, he goes to we just lane. slowed down like six miles an hour. And now, now we've got a, a new person in front of us and it's adapting to that old steering wheel telling me wow. <laughs> oh i love this i'm wow. taking this one home we're not bringing this one back <laughs> it's got too many oh it really de excited that guy's braking How about did that? you feel that i did i thought so you, you watched it you watched that pickup just go i'm they we're merged, not bringing this back. They merged off the highway and the car automatically, again, keeping up with the distance it was set. I'm like, I'm not used to this. I'm going, what's wrong? Why is it? But it was actually braking the vehicle because he was turning and slowing down. Wow. That is really... You, you, you can adjust, apparently, the sensitivity of some of these things. And I went through, um, not exactly how to change it, but where to access all the controls 
and the settings to do so. Okay. So here we are again. Sorry, my camera uh, just went. Now, we just got behind another guy up here, and um, it, it slowed us down to 50. Because it's keeping that exact distance the, from you. So if you were to go out, and I wonder if you would change lanes, would it then... Well, we're going to find out because we do, oh, we have yeah, we have car. two people past us going faster. So if we switch lanes, does this thing then automatically resense a new vehicle up to the set speed you were at before? That'll be interesting to see. Oh, well, now it's picking up speed because the guy in front of me picked up speed. So now I can't switch lanes, anyways. <laughs> well, you can. You can disengage. Oh, that guy needs to get in. So we're going to be nice and 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 let them in. But that is wow. We're gonna we're gonna get. I'm gonna I'm gonna. Um, Talk about artificial intelligence. This wow. is that's just technology that's just amazing. It takes, I'll tell you what, it takes a little bit to get used to. Right. But it is really nice. Okay, so I'm gonna resume my cruise control. And it's now just adapted to me. No matter what I had my cruise set to, it's adapted to me to the car in front of me. Now when we get up the hill here, we'll we'll, we'll exit off and we'll see if it brings me to a Today, we're playing two guys and a chauffeur. Yeah, 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 yeah. I said I'd let Rob drive, but I'm just having way too much fun at this point. So, so far today, it's been one guy and a car and a guy, not two guys and a ride, because the car has been driving and Nathan has okay, been driving. Okay, so here's breaking me, Rob. I'm not touching the brake. Oh, that's just... I am not touching okay. the brake right. at all. That's just freaky. All right, seriously? I'm No, my no. foot's... I'm hovering over... Now, watch this. It's leaving me far enough behind the vehicle at a complete stop. I haven't touched the brakes. Right, he's moving. Is it okay. Gonna, is it? So now I resume Did mine. You, you mashed the gas, though. I put the gas down to get myself to go. Okay. Okay. And now it's... Well, I'm going I'm to do the gas again. I so wanna, it won't take you back? You, you, you have to engage it. You have oh, to oh, let oh. it know that it needs to go. Okay. But your foot's off. We're stopping again. It's stopping ahead it's of gonna, us. It'll stop ahead of us. Wow, that is... Isn't that something? So when, you know, traffic moves, if you want to creep up a little bit, you know, you just use your accelerator. You override it by using the gas yep. yourself. But okay. then it'll stop you again. And it, and it stops you far enough away that you are, you have a safety. Now, what it doesn't understand is that I'm still at a red light uh -huh. and I need to stop before I go. It wanted to follow that car, which is, of course, natural. Well, it's not autonomous so, driving. No, it's, it's that's assisted the thing. driving. So it's, we've got to make sure and state that. This is right. not an autonomous vehicle that's going not to drive by itself. Any means. These are uh, safety features that what, that help you. They're not meant to take and drive the car 100% for you. So even though it does the sonar, radar, and sensoring for the, the cruise control and the automatic stopping, you are still in control of this vehicle, and you have to make sure you're still paying attention. All right, so we are going to switch drivers. I'd like the digital spirometer. You watch that. It's like got a half a needle that goes around it so it doesn't cover up anything else. All right. My turn. Here we go. Okay, my turn again. <laughs> you drove two inches. All right. And we're in an ice and snow filled parking lot and I want to do that on purpose because I wanted to see how the braking is and I want to see how the all wheel drive is. So we're going to put on the brakes real quick. Right now I'm doing 20 miles an hour. Nice, solid, firm, yep. straight stop and going to give it the gas. Boy, that, that uh, good. all wheel drive really works nice. Should I try to climb this mountain? You should. Let, let's, let's see what it'll do. Oh, it just, it I just, think that's soft though. I don't think yeah, anything would get through that. It just, it just mushed the snow down. It really didn't do anything for us. So <laughs> that was kind of cool. But you can see that uh, there's been quite a bit of snow up here. But yeah, I mean, it, with the four-wheel drive, I'm sure it's capable of climbing that. But it is extremely soft. It, it's, uh, it would just mire down in there. So I'm going to turn it real quick. And it's turning on the ice. Yeah. Wow. Very responsive. Oh yeah. Woohoo. I 
it handles very well. It does. Because of the, the stability assist system. And, and I mean, the, normally you'd be, you'd be sliding. The steering it's, on it's it really is active. just well enough weighted. And it's a very comfortable, very, very comfortable ride. Even over all of the little bumps and everything here in the snow. Oh, and the heated steering wheel. Absolutely love it. Yeah. I like that. And, you know, if you feel up... A little higher this it's not as warm so the warmer spot is right where you normally you would oh, hold sure. your hands i wonder you if know, that's it, even heated in that spot because it has enough resi residual heat that that it's warm to the touch it's just not hot right so it gives you the ability to have your to, the wheel on and maybe if your hands get too hot then you can kind of just move them up a little bit to yeah, cool them yeah, off yeah. and while you still keep the, the the overall feel of the steering wheel warm that's that's a nice feature mm-hmm and, I know, and, and even down at the bottom here, it's uh, you've got a space where it's cooler, so it's not all completely heated. It's just heated mainly where you would safely hold the uh, the steering wheel anyway. Yeah. That's really nice. This is very comfortable. It's very quiet. I love the design of the interior. I love the, uh, like the, uh, it's, I don't know if it's brown or like a dark red or burgundy the stitching. Uh, stitching. It, I, I, it matches the little inserts on the cup holders. Right, right. I'm you not got cup holders, but and the little cup areas. And the trim around the cup holders, though, is the same. Yes. So it's like a, a dark brown or burgundy, dark burgundy color, and it's really nice. Instrument panels are well laid out, tilt telescoping steering wheel. Yeah, very nice, very this nice. This also has uh, cross-traffic detection as well. It, it's funny, well, I'm looking right now. Cross-traffic detection. I'm looking right now at this uh, rear view mirror. One thing that does change when you use the camera versus a standard rear view mirror, I have someone who is, oh, probably five to eight feet off my rear bumper, but in this uh, digital camera mirror, it, it looks, looks like, like he's sitting in my back seat. <laughs> it, it does, doesn't it? <laughs> I can't even see his grill. I just see his front seat. Oh, that's all for... Uh... Yeah, so your mirror, again, has several controls. I can play with them a little bit now that I'm not driving, but um, you have... Um... Right. I know, there's, there's, there are so go. many modes. Just know that your mirror has controls uh, on, oh boy, on the right-hand this... side that you can access and adjust your digital mirror. But that is nice. You know, um, I mean, even if you had a vehicle with like a rear entertainment system hanging down, this would be oh, a, true, a, true. A, an incredibly useful yep. uh, mirror to have. The uh, I just made a U-turn at a stoplight to come back the way we were going, a legal U-turn. Uh, and the turn on this is very tight. I, I don't know exactly, I don't recall what the exact turning circle is, but um, yeah, it's it's extremely tight and it's very secure. Wow. I like the armrests, they're very comfortable. Yep. My, my, again, plenty plenty of leg room on the passenger Seats side. Seats are very comfortable. Uh, and, and left, right too, you're not like, you don't feel like you're knocking into the door or the center console stack. Um, well, I have found my favorite item of this vehicle, and we're going to talk about that because it's really not a big deal. It doesn't have to be a huge item that's like earth-shattering or, you know, uh, technology-breaking. Uh, it's just something that we, th we think is uh, unique and uh, kind of cool. Uh, that they would go to such a detail, uh, you know, it could be something right. like that. Or for you, Nathan, I mean, it could be something like you know, big technology. Right. It it doesn't does, the, matter. the deal, the deal we have is that it doesn't have to be something that we, one of the parts that we review. So I can like something on the outside or on the yep. engine or the transmission or something, or I can do something on the inside. So it's just overall, what is our favorite part? Uh, or I'm going to say one of our favorite parts because I don't know that I can pick one out. No. And we don't want to be here another 20 minutes having me explain the other favorite parts. Okay, All so right. now we're back at the dealer and uh, we want to thank you for joining us today and we hope you enjoyed our review of the RAV4, uh, 2019 Toyota RAV4. And this again was a limited trim and we definitely want to thank our friends at Heinz Toyota in Mankato. And as always, subscribe to our channel, like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram and Twitter, and you know what? Get out there and go take a ride. Go take so a ride. For me, Rob. And for Nathan. Take care and we'll see you next time. Okay, so as promised, my favorite thing, and it doesn't have to be a big thing or an earth shattering thing or big technology or big horsepower. It's just, in my case, this time it's something really simple and I hope you can see it but inside the door handle, inside the door handle right here, it's 
the grooves are cut in it, it's, it's rubber, and it's just a great tactile feel that when you open the door, it's a good, solid, firm uh, pull handle. And I just love that you, you've got that anti-slip uh, texture to it. And for, you know, it's just the little things that uh, really excite me. And it's the attention to detail of putting something like that on the inside of the door handle that typically people would just go in and put a flat piece of plastic. Okay, so my favorite overall thing has got to be this digital mirror. That is just way cool. Uh, I, so many times I, I could have used that in, in, in my vehicle. Um, so, you know, just a quick, a quick flip of the switch turns it to digital, and then you have a, a lot of customization control over it. Um, but I absolutely love that. That is, that's my, that's my favorite right there. And he, he, hey, there's Rob back there trying to, trying to goof me up, but he's not going to. We're rolling, huh? Yes. Hi, folks. I'm Rob. This is Nathan. <laughs> I forgot his name. All right, cut. Well, there's a blooper. We'll do that. How's that? All right, a, let's do this one again. again. <laughs> Hi, folks. I'm Rob. This is. Oh, you want to do? And I'm Nathan. <laughs> I won't do this. Is. <laughs>